So if you keep up with gear industry news, then you've probably heard by now that Full Tone is going to be closing its doors. I know there's been a lot of controversy around Full Tone, but I don't really want to talk about that. I, however, do uh, want to talk about my personal customer service experience with Michael himself. For many players in the early to mid-2000s, the Full Drive 2 really was the overdrive pedal to have, and I was no exception. I actually purchased my Full Drive in 2006 and at that time i was playing a les paul double cut with p90s a good cell super 17 and they were in that combination very mid forward and so having the flat mid mode on the full drive actually worked really well and on top of that i if you read the little description on the box you could run the pedal at 18 volts um, and it gave a little bit more headroom and kind of helped you push the front end of the amp, which the Good Cell Super 17 is very, very clean and really doesn't break up on its own. So the full drive was awesome and really served me well for probably 12 plus years. Fast forward to 2020 and during the pandemic lockdown, I was spending some time revisiting old gear. And I plugged in my full drive too and noticed that there was a tiny bit of scratching in the pots. And so unfortunately I made a super rookie mistake and sprayed way too much deoxid inside of the pots to the point that it washed away the dampening grease inside of the pots, which more or less rendered them useless because they were so loose that they wouldn't even stay in any given position. So as a Hail Mary, I reached out to Full Tone and inquired about purchasing some replacement pots and actually ended up receiving an email from Michael himself. So my original message, I said, hello, I have a full drive two that I bought new in 2006 that the pots were a touch scratchy. I made a huge mistake over using deoxid and now I've washed out all the damping grease from the shaft and it's now too loose in its rotation. Is it possible to purchase new pots through you? I didn't see any available on the parts page, so I thought I'd ask directly. Thank you so much. To which he replied, Hi, since all were not scratchy and are not ruined, and since I don't sell complete sets of pots to avoid feeding the plethora of DIY clones people like to make, I would like to sell you one pot. Which one is it? So I said, Michael, thank you for the quick response. Unfortunately, all were a touch scratchy and I overcleaned them all. Honestly, a rookie mistake and kind of embarrassing. I gimped up the pots, especially since I've loved this pedal for almost 14 years now. Here's some pictures. Do you think there's a way to get more dampening grease back down inside the shaft somehow? Seems impossible to me. I saw 2006, but was thinking 2016, dot, dot, dot. That is a while ago. We use a 12 millimeter that does not pass through the PCB like the one, like that one does. It won't work. We don't use those pots anymore. Let me check if I have any. Guys, and I'm assuming he's addressing his uh, shop guys, check to see if we have any panel mount 16 millimeter pots for a circa 2006 full drive two. One each, please. Which I said, thank you so much for looking into your old stock. I saw you mention pots that go through a PC board. I don't think that these do. They just seat right up against the pedal casing. Not sure if that's helpful in your search at all. As far as them all being scratchily, scratchy, it was really just the volume that was the worst. Blah, 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 blah. My mistake was being over overzealous with the cleaner. As far as power supply, because he was asking about what power supply I was using as well. Um, and then I kind of elaborate about how, you know, this was the drive that I used for such a long time uh, with my original rig from back at that time. Which then he said, hey, got them all and same age too. What's your address? What? Of course, I was floored and said, oh, wow, that's amazing. I can't thank you enough. Seriously, above and beyond customer support, even after 16 years. No problem. You're welcome, was his reply. And I ended up getting them, got the pots in, and it never sounded better. Like, seriously, the pedal is perfect. It, it literally is the exact same pedal. Um, and just thanked him again for the incredible, incredible support, which he replied, my pleasure. This was by far the best customer service experience I've ever had. 
I purchased at the time I was writing the email, I had purchased this pedal 14 plus years prior, and yet he was still willing to stand behind his product and support it, even though it was my fault. And I just want to say thanks. I appreciate that uh, customer service like that exists. So if anybody from Full Tone or Michael, if you ever see this, thanks for the support. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my story about my customer service experience with Full Tone, and I'll see you next time.